But Johnny, let's move on into our final topic. What we're moving into is two movies that will be coming to us very, very soon. And we're looking at Mario, which Nintendo confirmed will be an animated movie that they're working with Universal's Illumination Entertainment, the same company that did Despicable Me and Minions. And then you also have Paramount Pictures is saying they're going to give a video game movie adaptation to Sonic the Hedgehog to come stateside in Hmm. November 2019. That Sonic movie is going to be a live-action CGI hybrid project. Interesting. And the film will be produced by Deadpool director Tim Miller and Fast and the Furious franchise producer Neil H. Mortis, um, among others. Here's what I want to ask you, though. Which is the better which is the better idea for a movie? The animated Mario movie from Illumination or the live action CGI hybrid Sonic the Hedgehog? Here we go. Um you know what this is actually a really hard one for me to pick now that I have Is it hard than... after you just gave me the Mario here we go? No, honestly I'm going to pick Mario over Sonic, but mm-hmm. now that like I have more of the details like sinking in. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be really cool to see a hybrid like. I mean I, that that the CGI concern, that concerns me. It concerns you, but at the same time, it's kind of cool the concept if they do it right. Mm-hmm. If they do it right, kind of a semi CGI Eggman. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, we're gonna basically almost and Andy Circus almost the whole rest of the movie. Maybe probably just, a pro- really maybe. Well, the thing I... You guys put on the Sonic costume. The thing I worry about is that, like, the thing with the Sonic... I want to pick the Sonic movie. I do. I know you do. I do, because I'm I'm a Sega fanboy. Like, Sega over Nintendo. I was Sonic the Hedgehog over Mario. Sonic was my life. Playing the Sonic games, watching Sonic on TV, the cartoons that came out... During our childhood. I want to be like, fuck yeah, Sonic's the way to go. The hedgehog beating Jumpman over here. However, I don't... Who's Eggman? I don't know. Mario. Mario's Jumpman. Mario we're doing is Mar- Jumpman. We're doing Mario versus Sonic. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. Got now you got it. Like, now I got it. I'm like, Mar- <laughs> we're doing Mario I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I'm th- I thought yeah. Eggman was his villain. Got a little confusing. I was going <laughs> with bit. a Mario Sonic thing. Yes, but I got you. The thing that worries it me was clever ab- now that you know. about Sonic is that the live action CGI thing, is it going to be where it's CGI in Sonic's world and it's like, cool, this looks good. But then it does that weird thing like the SpongeBob movie did. Oh, that. Where it's like they come Bring to in the, the real world. And I hate when movies do that. I hate when it's like, we're going to the real world. And it's like, no, we're, no, these characters should not be in the real world outside of their. I mean, if they comic make it look as state. realistic as possible without making it like, oh, we filmed on. Like you, on look, location. Even looking at the trailers, did you think that the SpongeBob movie you saw? I mean, nah. No. That looks great. No. I, yeah, exactly. It was SpongeBob. You think I was going to think it looks no, great now at that's, all? That's the part where if that happens, I'm going to be like, no. No, I'm saying if they make it look as realistic mm-hmm. as possible in the terms of Sonic, mm-hmm. like make, making it like semi, it's going to be weird the kind of live action now that I'm like, saying it more and more. Right now, I am more confident in the Mario one. Only because who's developing it? Same people that did. Illumination. Exactly. They hit on Despicable Me. They hit on the Minions. Mario's going to look great. The only, the only question I have with Mario's is what story are you going to tell? I, I'm... Which castle is he going to save Peach from? Yeah. Because basically that's that's the main story. I get that there's a ton of different stories with Mario. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of them. They have the cartoon they can go off of. They have the Super Mario Super Shows they can go off of. <laughs> I don't think we're going to do that one. They can go. At, they can also go after the uh, live action and adapt that. Go off of Jumpman. They could. What would you do for the story for Mario? That's a tough one because, I mean, there's so many different storylines to it. Because, mm-hmm. um, I mean, the original one is he's Jumpman. And that was when he, the game Donkey Kong was out. Yes. So you save Peach from the on, top of the from the top of the the little construction thing. It looked like. Yeah, that's the first level. Mm-hmm. It gets a lot harder from there because um, you keep moving through. Yeah. Construction sites, 
But um, there's that one. That's the original one where he was not even Mario. He was still called Jumpman. Mm-hmm. Then there's we start. I mean, there's a lot of them you're not going to go with. You're not going to go with the side-scrolling original Mario game. You're not going to go with. Because, I mean, what, you you go down a path and, mm-hmm. I mean, it'd be cool. You're going to throw all those elements in there. Um, the ghosts, you're going to throw in the Koopas, the mm-hmm. Goombas. I feel like I'm saying a lot of derogatory yeah. slurs when I say these words. <laughs> Luigi, Bowser, <laughs> yeah, Princess Yeah, no, bring Peach, Luigi in, Pre- Princess Wa- Peach, Luigi, Toad, Wario, Toad. Yoshi. Yoshi, ooh, I almost forgot about Yoshi. Why Here, did... Here's one thing that I think of, though, in the article. Oh, go ahead. The article I'm looking at mm-hmm. brings this point up, and this is a positive in the sense of Mario that's not a positive in the sense of Sonic because obviously Sega mm-hmm. has properties that it's their own, but like Nintendo, if this Mario movie comes out and it's a, it's a success, yeah, what's to stop them from going, okay, Illuminations, we'll do a Zelda movie, a Donkey Kong movie, a Star Fox movie, Buy it. I would give, take my money, Star Fox, let's go. Or even like a Metroid Prime movie, a Kirby movie. There are so many different ways, things that they own under their franchise that they could go the animated route. And hey, if Mario does well, this could be a kind of like a partnership where it's like, hey, Illumination, they're making some pretty good uh, animated Nintendo movies. Yeah. The only one that I wish, when you listed mm-hmm. it, that would be live action is Zelda. Yeah. That's the only one I wish would be live action, but I get it. It could be. It could be, but I would get it because they already have like a contract with Illumination. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, do, now do Zelda for us. Well, and that's like Zelda's the one where you can even hold that one off. Yeah. The one that I'd really like to see is Star Fox. Yeah. That would be That'd the be cool. one where... And I'm talking, give me the original Star Fox, where it's Falco. Do a barrel roll. We can we can move one out. Slippy, Skippy, whatever his name was, whoever. I always let him die first. Um, and then uh, let him die first. And then the do a barrel roll. Do a ba- that's got to be in there. You know yeah. that's got to be in there. Do a barrel roll. I want that crew. I want the crew from the N64 version. That's what I want with the um, with the. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but the wolf. And every time you'd go to that level with the snow, mm-hmm. I see that you've outsmarted me, Star Fox, or something like I that. I don't remember it, but yeah. And then, because that was the level where it was the third level, I believe, mm-hmm. snowy, kind of like a Hoth area going on. Okay. And that was the, like, hey, it's an open area, and you just got to fly around and kill the evil guys. And then Slippy would be like, oh my god, he's on my tail, help me! And you'd be like... Gotta get him off your tail. And Falco would be like, hey, Fox, you gonna help me out over here? And you're like, oh, gotta go over there and help him. That's what I want. That is what I want for Star Fox. How are we not on Star Fox? No. We're on Mario. I think the thing that's interesting about it is like we talked about Batgirl, and it's like, story, story, story. Mario, you can kind of create your own. Yeah. You don't have to go Nothing off of anything that that's, you've done. That's the great thing, great and horrible thing mm-hmm. about video games, movies. It's so creative. It's so creative that, like, you don't have a set. I mean, mm-hmm. you have your base set story. You have, like, your set story is this piece of string mm-hmm. right here. Yeah. This is an imaginary piece of string. It's like when you were a kid. Hey, play in that cardboard box. It's a spaceship. It's a mansion. It's a tunnel. As long as you're playing in the cardboard box, whatever, you're there. Whatever you want. I mean, what? You have to ha- You have to have Mario. It's like have- Rugrats. Whenever they go inside something, it turns into like a cavern or something. Exactly. I mean, basically, here's the concept. You have to have Mario. Mm-hmm. You have to have either like Bowser or King mm-hmm. Koopa. One, one big villain. Who would you pick as your villain? Bowser. Would you go Just- Bowser? <laughs> would you go Wild Luigi and Wario? I would go Bowser, have Waluigi... And or Wario, mm-hmm. if I'm going to have them in there as kind of a uh, underling-ish, se- not like an actual like underling to mm-hmm. Bowser, but like a uh, roadblock in a sense. Okay. Maybe have uh, maybe have Luigi in there as like a they sidekick. Can, Wario and Waluigi can be the bulk and skull. Yes. Of the Mario movie. Kind of, yeah, in Except a sense. Except maybe have a little bit greater of a role and not just be comedic relief. Oh, I completely agree with that. But yeah, have it like sort of a... Uh, they kind of look like Bulk and Skull. Kind of, yeah. Wario and Waluigi. you bring that up, they do kind of. They're kind of... <laughs> the, the only Bulk thing and is Skull War- to Mario. The only thing Wario's not as tall... Like, Bulk and Skull are evenly height, whereas Wario is vastly shorter than Waluigi. Yes. That's the only difference. But I... 
That Everybody just cheats. That just popped into my head now where I'm like, holy crap, Bulk and Skull, that works. That, that works. does work. They could be the Bulk and Skull I, of your movie. I wouldn't do exactly that like you said. <laughs> like you said, don't do exactly the Bulk comedic- and Skull. do 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 Pie in the face. Right. That was the theme, man. Pie in the That was it. But go on with your movie um, for Mario. I'd have them be kind of like the the constant roadblocks of like trying to like mess Mario up because they don't like Mario. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Mario. They want to make life hard for Mario. Mario, and they're out for themselves. I think Wario's supposed to be like, he just wants the gold. Mm-hmm. He wants... The money he wants the coin. Um, then have Luigi in there, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not the whole movie, maybe part of it, maybe, um, maybe all of it if you really want to, but help him out. His it's his brother, so mm-hmm. I mean, you can always do that, yeah. And I mean, I'm looking on the other side for Sonic, yeah, I'm looking at a ton of websites, most of them have the same thought I do. And I'm going to read this from player.1. Okay. Um, might not be the most reputable sources, but this is more of an opinion piece, if anything. Um, since we know the Sonic movie is a live-action CGI hybrid, mm-hmm. it's probably safe to assume the plot will involve Sonic entering the real world. While there may be a certain section of the internet excited for this prospect, everyone I know has the same question when I've told them about the movie. Why? Who knows? Maybe Sonic can tap into the same magic the Lego movies have managed to succeed with. That's the same thing I thought of. Like True. When I thought of him, because that's why I think the Mario movie is going to be good. They're just not going to deal with that. We're not having him come to the real world. No. We're going to be self-entertained with our story that we're going to create for you. I don't know why Sega has to feel like part of me feels like is it because you're like, well, A, we want to be different and B, we want to be edgy. That's another thing I look into. And it's like, no, you don't. It kind of reminds me of Marvel DC here Mm -hmm. where (laughs) Marvel is the Nintendo in this situation where, you know what? We're just going to do we're We're going to play it safe. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right is what I'm feeling right now. We're going to do it right. Think of Mario's Iron Man 1 right now. Exactly. You know what? We're just going to play it safe. And no, my Iron Man 1 Marvel wasn't the Marvel that we know today. Whereas the Sonic movie, I'm getting DC vibes from it where it's mm-hmm. like, we got to be edgy. We got to be different. Let's go BVS. Let's make it dark, man. You know what I keep thinking oh, man, more and super more? super dark. More and more thinking about the Wait, Sonic part. Your, your mother's name is Martha. My mother's name is Martha. We should be best friends. <laughs> that is what I'm feeling with the Sonic movie already. And I some people might say that is a unfair way to think already because we haven't even seen anything about the plot. They basically just told us, hey, you're gonna get it in 2019. Yeah. But that's how I feel right now. That I'm going to like one vastly different va- vastly greater than the other, but the one I don't like is the one I really wanna like. Because that's the property that my heart is at. That's how I'm. That's how I'm feeling right now. Uh, not not to ruin it more for you. I'm but just gonna just gonna stomp all over my flowers. Aren't yeah, you? kind of. Uh, the, when, you know what I keep thinking as I keep thinking more and more about the Sonic part mm-hmm. of this conversation, mm-hmm. Sonic part of the movie. You know what it reminds me of? What Smurf movies that came out? Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't <laughs> <laughs> just stomping on it. I hope it's The little good. bit of fire you had left, Ricky, I'm just going to stomp I on hope, it. With I, it. I mean, I, those are not terrible movies mm-hmm. to show your kids. I Myself, I would not watch them again because I saw my, parts of them on TV. Like, I and just, I just did not find them entertaining. I just don't get the why do we have to bring him to the real world. Oh, Ricky's going to have a tantrum. Why? No, it's serious, <laughs> though. Like... Why does I'm Sonic like your foot stamping and everything? Dude. Why? Why does Sonic? I was foot stamping, but <laughs> why? A tantrum. Why does Sonic have to come to the real world? He doesn't. And he doesn't. I, have, I, you're I, right. I, I get live action doesn't mean real world, but you tell me what it means because that's what I think it means. That's what I think it means too. Live action usually means you have live actors doing it, not just voiceovers. Just stay in your animated world. I. You know what Sonic movie I would love to see. 
Basically, you don't need to give me an origin story. I already know about Sonic. That's who most of you people. I are already know. know about him and Eggman. I don't see. I don't need to see him go with Eggman for an entire movie. You know what? You drop me into either movie one, you, one of two things. One's a rehash, so it's like nah, I don't want to do that. You could do the rehash first, mm-hmm. Shadow, basically because that was from the oh yes, yeah, the Dreamcast game. Yeah. You could do Metal Sonic as a villain in there if you want something different than Eggman. But I would just go with the classic. Yeah, we know about Eggman. Eggman's doing his thing, and Sonic's got to stop him. Oh, what's this guy over here? The introduction of Knuckles. The introduction of <laughs> Knuckles, and you introduce that, and that's the story. That I would like that and just keep it in your little CGI world compared to make it live action. Don't you say what I know you're thinking. <laughs> Ricky, don't you do you it. You know why they're not going to listen to you, Because they don't right? know the way, Johnny. You no, know, because you don't know the way. Because they don't know you the don't way. You don't know the way, Ricky. They don't know the way. Rick, I do not. I didn't realize after <laughs> you said Knuckles, and my brain went, yes, you said that up for me. I didn't mean now I can. I'm now sorry. I, can use it. I didn't. After I was like, where was I? My mind was so like. In, Aggravated with the live action thing. It was so thing. surrounded in the live action thing that after I got to it, it was when I saw your yes. eye light up to where I'm like, no, what did I do? <laughs> he said the word Knuckles, and boom. You know what it's the like? The meme started. It's like you. I'm going to use a sports reference for Johnny who doesn't understand it. It's like you were at the plate with your baseball bat. Yeah. And I threw a fastball right down the middle. Mm -hmm. And as it's going, just slow motion, and I'm thinking, no. And you just right out of the park. That's what you did. Like I, did. I, I missed my location, and you made me pay and sent it over the wall. That is basically I what you did. I had to. I'm sorry. Any final thoughts on uh, Mario versus Sonic? I'm um, just going to drop it and say Mario has it right now because every time I think of the Sonic one, as of their description so far. I hope maybe, better things come out maybe for they it. Will I hope fix they what change they're me. Set. Maybe they will give a better description of what they're going to do. Mm-hmm. I just think Smurfs movie. I hope not. I hope I hope the Sonic movie is good. Maybe Sega will and, find a way. And I don't even want this to be like an Xbox PlayStation thing or like a Marvel DC no, thing. No, I don't. I just want them both like to be good. one against the other, but... Because I enjoyed, the, I I enjoyed want, the Sonic games too. I want the Sonic one to be so good because he's my favorite. He's, he's one of my... Like, he is... You know how most generations... Like, I think the generation right before us, mm-hmm. Mario was what they grew up with. Yeah. Sonic was the video. My first video game that I played, besides like Duck Hunt, mm-hmm. was Sonic. See, my first one was always, was Mario. I didn't really have the Sega as a kid unless well, I went to the pediatric hospital. Well, and it was um, <laughs> and that was and this is a side thing to end the podcast with. Yeah, that's just like I had a original Nintendo, an mm-hmm. old school Nintendo, because it was my dad's. Yeah. And I remember playing things like Mario and the Ninja Turtles on it and Galaga. It never got me all the way. Like, it never pulled me in and sunk me into that world. Whereas we got a Sega. I hooked it up. I put that Sonic cartridge in. And it was like, okay, I am in. Sega's my favorite console. This is the one I'm going with. And I was a Sega boy. Still played Nintendo. But I was a Sega boy. See, I was heavy on Nintendo for a mm-hmm. long time, so that's where Mario really hits in. Super for Nintendo me. tried to pull me away a little bit from the Sega, mm-hmm. but then it was like Super Nintendo and Sega were my main two. Well, that I mean, I was going with. for me, I had the original Nintendo. I had the N sixty. Mm-hmm. My first three systems. Yeah. And I'm when I bear with me when I say this was the original Nintendo, mm-hmm. the N sixty four. And the 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 big brick Game Boy skipped a couple generations. With yeah, I the know. N sixty four to the N to the Nintendo original Nintendo. Yeah, I yeah. know. I didn't. N sixty four is a great console, though. It is. Well, I'm guess what? When I went from N sixty four, the next step up was PlayStation. Yeah. Too. So I tend to skip generations because I stick with the system for a like, while. I liked Nintendo. Like N sixty four, I liked Super Nintendo. I really liked, but really, my favorite consoles were Sega. And then the only other console that gave me that same exact feeling the mm-hmm. first time I pressed play was literally when I pressed play on the PS1. And you saw that opening screen, the doo 
and you see like the it was the orange diamond at the time. Yeah. Th- that feeling every time I hit play, same feeling over and over. And then I went to the PlayStation 2, you had all the like the blocks and the blue like um and the worry if the game was going to go load. There. That too. There was that on the <laughs> chunkier ones, the big ones that I had. And then PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. But this is where you guys come in. Let us know what you guys think down below for Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario. Are you guys excited for both the movies? Are you not excited for one of them? Let us know what you think down below in the comments down below. And if you're listening to the full podcast, either on YouTube, on Blog Talk Radio, iTunes, Stitcher, anywhere around the world, podcast services, thank you for sticking around. Let us know what you thought about any of the topics we talked about today. A little bit of housekeeping here at the end. If you like what we're doing, check out patreon.com backslash most valuable podcast. Any bit helps. If you want to get your own MVP merch, get that t-shirt down below in our store link. Make sure to bookmark mostvalvepodcast.com. That's where you're going to find everything for MVP. And last but not least, please go on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, give the Rick and Johnny Podcast a five-star rating. Want to thank you guys for watching on YouTube. Want to thank you guys for listening on podcast services around the world. However, as always, have a good day, everybody.